Hello friends, I am Shantanu, your coach and today we are going to cover Consumer Protection Act 1986. Now first we will see the object of the act. Object says that it is an act form for better protection of the consumer by establishment of consumer councils and other authorities for the settlement of consumer disputes and the matter connected therewith. Here you have to understand the meaning of the term consumer. This is the legal definition of consumer. We will see it in the general term. If you look at the consumer, means a person who purchases goods or avails services. And whenever consumer buys such goods or avails services, chances are there that goods are not of that particular quality as claimed by the trader or services are not of that quality or standard which were claimed by the service provider. So in such cases, this consumer has only one option to go to the court to get the justice. But the court ki procedure is very lengthy, it is a year matter chalta rehta hai. Isiliye ek separate system banaya gaya hai jahan pe jo consumer hai wo apne dispute ko raise kar sakte hai aur isi purpose ke liye ye act banaya hai. Ab yahan par aapko ye baat note karni hai consumer protection act is in addition to and not in derogation of any other law. Iska kehne ka matlab ye hai ki agar consumer ko goods jo mile hai wo bad quality ke mile hai ya services usko achche standards ki nahi mili hai. So, ye court mein to ja hi sakta hai. There is no stopping from uh, going to the court. Apart from this option, going to the court, he can also move to the consumer forums to raise his dispute and get the speedy remedies for his disputes. Now, let's see section 6 which says that there are certain basic rights which are available to consumer. और ये जो राइट्स हैं ये एग्जाम में भी पूछे जाते हैं कि कंज्यूमर के बेसिक राइट्स क्या है तो आपको ये याद रखना है कीवर्ड्स के साथ फर्स्ट राइट इज टू बी प्रोटेक्टेड अगेंस्ट द मार्केटिंग ऑफ हजार्डस गुड्स और सर्विसेज दूसरा राइट टू बी इंफॉर्म्ड अबाउट द क्वालिटी क्वांटिटी पोटेंसी प्योरिटी स्टैंडर्ड एंड प्राइस ऑफ गुड्स और सर्विसेज to protect against unfair trade practices. Third is to have access to variety of goods and services at their competitive prices. Fourth is to, to be heard at the appropriate forum. So, jab kabhi bhi uska dispute hoga, to wo forum mein jayega, to he has a right that forum should hear his dispute. Next is to seek redressal against the unfair trade practice or restrictive trade practice or unscurplus exploitation of consumer. And the next right is the right to consumer education. Ab ye rights directly exam mein pooche jate hai. Aapko ye keyword yaad rakhna hai. Protection ka, information ka, then access to goods and services, then to be heard, then redressal against UTP, RTP, and then the last is right of education, consumer education.